Spock, set phasers on Innovate. Hey everyone, it's Jeff Douglas with Appear and Top Coder. Welcome to another episode of Phasers on Innovate, where we talk about cool things that are happening right now in the tech world. So, one thing recently that happened was that Heroku started supporting WebSockets for real. They had a little workaround, but now they're actually going to support WebSockets. We've been using it for quite a long time at CloudSpokes and Top Coder for a number of things. We had a map that would show when people logged into CloudSpokes, when they submitted challenges, when they posted discussion boards, all types of actions. We would push that to a map, and you could see these things popping up all over the place. Well, now that we're on Top Coder, we went on to rebuild this, so I'm kind of messing around with that. And so, of course, we're looking at WebSockets again. And we're going to build this in Node and, of course, on Heroku. So I just want to kind of give you a demo of what we're building and kind of show you some of the cool technologies and the cool things that you can do with, uh, with Node and with a client package called Fay, and, of course, with Heroku. So what I did was I just created a, a, a small little Express app, nothing fancy. And it's got one home page. It just says, Welcome to Corona. And that's our application that shows this map. So what I did was I actually used this um, Fay WebSockets Node package so they, there actually is a Fay WebSockets one or Fay node package but this one has the WebSockets that are supported by Heroku so you want to make sure you grab that one and it's got really good information here on how to install super simple um, setting up a basically a you know a hello world kind of application here just to you know do an echo server back to yourself and it's got some really good information here sent it up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a, a server that when I just post a message to it it's going to actually use WebSockets and send it to any of the clients that are connected to the server. So it's really simple. So let me show you the code I have here. I'm going to kind of start backwards with the client. So the client's pretty easy. I'm going ahead and I'm just going to set up a WebSocket. I'm going to connect to my local host client, run on port 8000. And I'm going to set up a port for this client. I'm going to have multiple clients running with different ports. And I'm just going to create a server. And then whenever the WebSockets gets a new message, I'm going to dump the message to the console and then I'm going to send a message back to the web server as a receipt saying, hey, I got this message on this port. Thanks a lot. So pretty sensible client. And you can use this client also, you know, of course, with JavaScript or any other technology that, that supports WebSockets. We've done it before in Ruby and it worked really well. So here is the server. And you can see it's a, basically a, a Express app that I, I add some stuff to. So here's we declare the WebSockets. I have a count of the number of clients that were currently connected to the server. And I set up my port here. And then, of course, there's the standard boilerplate stuff for Express. I have my simple little homepage that you saw a second ago that just says, Welcome to, to Corona. And then here's the only route I really have. This is a, a post route where you actually post a message to the server. And it, of course, iterates through all the clients and sends a message out to every one of the clients of what I posted. And then here's the, here's the, actually the good part, the web service, the web sockets part. So you can see here we, um, we listen for some um, meshes for the server. When we get a new connection to the server, we create a new WebSocket and we actually set up an ID so I can have a number of websites, I'm sorry, clients connected to this WebSocket and I can send out messages to them and I can delete them from my collection so that way I'm no longer using them anymore. So you can see I set up an ID, I set a, a client with that WebSocket by that ID and then when someone connects to it for this, for this a client, the server says, okay, I got a connection, and it sends a message saying, hey, welcome to Corona, we're always watching. So that gets sent out to the client when it connects. And then when the server receives a message, this is the response back from the client saying, hey, I got your message. It just outputs the, uh, the data that was sent back, that's the actual message. And then when we close the, the connections, so when the client is dropped or closed or whatever, it's going to actually um, delete this client connection, this actual web socket, and, from the list of connected clients, that way we're not sending out messages to it anymore. And the rest of it is standard boilerplate stuff. So, so give you a quick little demo here. So we've got, uh, I've got two little connections here for my clients. And then I have my server right here. You can see the Corona server, Corona client, client. And I'm just gonna curl some meshes here to my server. So let me go ahead and start the server up first. All right, server starts up. Listen to port 8000. Now I'm gonna go connect this client here and you'll see oh there we go so it received a new connection send me a welcome message here's the welcome message that was sent from the server to the client hey welcome to corona always watching it replied back with the message got the message on port 8001 8, thanks a lot let's connect another client here there we go so it sent a message to the when it connected it got a message from the server that says welcome to corona and then it responded back to the server with got a message on port 8002 
So now to send a message is super simple. You just post to, um, to, the, to the server's URL and you send it a message. So I'm just gonna send it a little message here. So there we go. So it sent out the message. You can see there's the message that was sent out to the client from the server. And it responded back with a receipt that it was received on that client on that port. So super simple to implement a pub sub with Faye with Node. Um, a small little client, a little server that keeps track of different clients that are connected and just sends out messages. So I hope you enjoyed it.